the idea for Guide God was actually triggered during research to Cambodia, where I was looking into um, landmines and meeting landmine survivors. When I was there, I encountered this individual who was a, a disabled man who had had polio as a child and was now a teacher of ch uh, in a school for disabled children, but he had been a Buddhist monk. And there were two things with his, his story in that, firstly, he attributed his disability to karma, which was the thing that I'd heard of. I knew that that belief existed, but I'd never encountered it in another individual. Um, and I realised that I didn't know how to engage with his belief. I didn't really know how to, how to get into discussion about it because it was a belief, you know, so I, <laughs> it was so sort of absolute. I realised that my instinct was to kind of argue with it. Like I had a, a, a reaction to it because somehow I felt like his belief was that he had done something bad in a previous life and therefore he was disabled in this. And I guess I felt somehow that that reflected on me and a judgment that have I done something therefore bad in a previous life, in your opinion, um, even though I didn't have a belief in previous lives, somehow it, it kind of um, it triggered that sort of reaction in me. Uh, the second thing that he, suge he suggested was that he wasn't supposed to be a Buddhist monk. He wasn't allowed to be a Buddhist monk as a disabled person, um, which was not something I'd ever heard. And that kind of piqued my curiosity a little bit as well. Um, and that was really, it made me kind of want to find out more about faith and beliefs around disability and made me aware, I guess, of my own vast ignorance around um religions generally and and what their made me want to ask uh, what their perspectives might be coming from different faiths towards disability if you're born disabled it is not because you are evil